The average unmarried female, basically insecure. Guys and Dolls is such a joyous show. It's so well written. It's beautiful score. The thing that really makes makes us keep coming back to it, makes audiences love it, is the characters are so warm and generous. Um, and by the end of the show, they're, they're just a gang that you want to spend more time with. Difficult to endure. We've got a fabulous cast. There's brilliant singers, they're brilliant dancers, but they're all amazing actors. So you've got all of these characters sort of springing to life in amongst this musical spectacular. The reason I wanted to do this show is because um, Rob Hasty, I think, is an absolutely brilliant director, like just one of the best we have in the UK, I think. Um, also, it's a classic piece that's been done over and over, but I think what we're trying to do, try to achieve with it, it's something quite fresh that's not been seen before. I think most people do know at least a few songs or some of the characters. But I think there'll be some surprises in store in terms yeah. of what we've done. I mean, nothing is radically different, but it's all just... I think it's all just quite interesting, isn't yeah, it? It's... Nothing might be what exactly what you expect. Yeah, apart from we fully expect people to start singing along to Sit Down, You're Rocking the Boat, because, yeah. I mean, everyone knows that one. <laughs> In other words, just from waiting around for that plain little man. All the actors are finding really beautiful moments to surprise you with new ways of looking at these familiar characters. And it's those characters that really form the centre of the show. So around it you've got all these wonderful numbers and this brilliant choreography. But the centre of it is the, are these people who are trapped in roles and they discover that through the love of another person you can transform yourself as well. It's a show about love and sacrifice and about what you're willing to sacrifice in order to gain the greater prize yeah. of love, I think. What you would gamble for love. Hmm. Do you exactly. like the way yeah. I said that? Yeah, Thank you. Because it's about gambling as well. So <laughs> that's <funny. laughs> yeah. It says here... The female remaining single, just in the legal sense. The Crucible is such a great theatre for musicals because you've got the audience wrapped around at that thrust stage. You know, when you get a laugh in, in the building, it feels very warm and gorgeous, like a big warm hug. It is a very interesting space because it's kind of a thrust. It's not really a, a round, is it? it's like a three quarters of the pie. It's not the whole pie. You're all in the same room. So you've got the band and the singers and the dancers all in the same space as the audience. And that's what makes it feel like a party. It's what it makes it feel really festive. It's why a big musical at Christmas works so well in this theatre. We're actually setting it at Christmas. We've given it Christmas in New York vibes. Yeah, it's a nice feel, like a festive feel to it. Mm. It is a treat at Christmas to watch something that makes you feel hopeful about the future and to watch anything that, that garners within you a sense of enthusiasm and love is a really, really good thing to have at this moment in time. Whatever your mood or your temperament, mm. you're probably going to enjoy it. Yeah. A really talented cast, um, our ensemble are probably the best looking bunch of people I've ever That's seen in my life. so attractive! Um, you kind of just get to see us all enjoying the material and enjoying being a part of the production and enjoying each other. And let's face it, it's not stopped raining in Sheffield since we got here. You need to come and have a lovely time because your heart will lift, it, mm. it can't not. And we all need a little bit of that, don't we? Yeah. Then they get off at Saratoga I can't imagine that people will come and not have a good time. It's, it's, it's a no-brainer, really. Mm. It's not a gamble. <gasps> Got it in, yes. <laughs> a person.